know, some of you I've just seen what you've done this summer. Some of you I've seen you since uh, you started as a freshman. It just depends on who you are. Um, I think probably the most important um, is that we always set our goals high. Um, you know, I've never been into, I think, starting off a program, which we did several, you know, five years ago, um, there were stepping stones to get to. I think at this point, we've got through these stepping stones, and, you know, my goal is not just to make it to something that never has been. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be in the coaching field if I wasn't in it to win it. Okay, my expectation is to win everything. Okay, at the end of the season. Okay, the, throughout the season, all those are just little tests along the way. Whatever happens, happens. The only thing that matters is three meets at the end of the season. Okay. Um, so, um, I think our goals are set high, um, you know, our numbers may or may not be down a little bit, but that doesn't change my expectation, I'll find a way to get there one way or another, okay, do with what we have here, okay, we'll always find a way, okay, obviously for, uh, the guys, uh, this year, um, we have a very tough conference this year. Um, Alleman will be very strong, as well as Moline, UT, um, us, obviously, um, I think are the majority in the conference, and I think uh, as far as regional sectionals, it's wide open, very wide open. Um, you know, this will be, if we make a state appearance this year, this will be our fifth in a row. Okay, so it's a drive for five, you'll hear me saying that all year long. Okay, that is our goal. Okay. Uh, we've placed in the top ten the past three years. Um, we brought home a state trophy before. It can be done again. Okay. On the girls, we got gals broke through last year, made it to state for the first time ever in school history. Okay. Um, that expectation is the same this year. Once you start doing that, it needs to be Last year, you girls believed that uh, you could actually do it, and it happened. When you start doing that, um, that means big things. So, um, one of the things that was probably most important to me that you'll see that's a little bit different in here, um, you'll see I put in uh, some team core values. Um, I was reading through the material. I've read uh, several books this summer. probably the best uh, track coach, uh, running coach in the nation. Um, you know, obviously most of you guys know I read a lot of Joe Newton stuff um, and some other things. And I came across this uh, from another coach um, that's out of North Carolina and actually doesn't even uh, coach uh, cross country and looked at some of the things that uh, he said and then kind of applied them to what we do. And I thought the reason why it's probably uh, most appropriate of understanding those core values is, you know, these past few weeks uh, with Coach Chapman and things, um, we went through a lot. She's went through a tremendous amount of things that I can't even imagine. You know, me being somebody who's grown up with her and uh, known her family for a long time. Um, you know, I think it was very important for her um, that, you know, you guys are going to be uh, her family a lot. Okay? She's going to be depending on us quite a bit. Uh, she's going to have some good days. She's going to have some bad days. But I think we all realize what the, the most important thing that uh, we can't explain to anybody until they've come out here is how cross country is just different. Okay, it's a different 
sport than any other thing. Football, basketball, track, anything. Okay, it is a pure, what I call team sport. Okay, there is just a different friendship, a different kinship between everybody. Um, that everybody cares about everybody, from whoever's the fastest person on the team to the, whoever's the slowest person on the team. Okay, everybody's important. 